Well, hello everyone. I'm here with Alexander Cayetano. He is the Director of Volunteer and Community Engagement with CASA for Douglas County. Alexander, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me on, Andy. So we've got, or you guys, got, you guys have a 5K, a virtual 5K coming up, but let's just first tell me about what is CASA for Douglas County? Who do you serve? For sure. There are over 1,300 kids in foster care in the Omaha area every year. CASA for Douglas County's mission is training, empowering, and inspiring volunteer advocates to improve the lives of these children uh, through really tenacious advocacy that is focused on their best interest. Yeah. Um, I know I had Kim on um, the executive director. She, she was one of my first guests on Metro TV a couple years ago um, and we had a great conversation about really all the wonderful things this organi organization does. Uh, one of the things you um, that happens every year is this 5k superhero run um, but this year you know with COVID-19 um, rather than canceling it you're going virtual and doing something a little different so tell us about that. That's right I think it's really important for us to be mindful of everybody's health and safety with everything that's going on and we thought that it would be a wonderful way to celebrate uh, 22 years of tenacious wow. advocacy. We, we just turned 22 this, this past July 1st um, to do something virtual. Uh, and this virtual approach is actually going to broaden uh, the, the impact of this event because anyone anywhere uh, can mm -hmm. participate. Uh, so we are uh, doing 22 days of running yeah. and walking uh, to celebrate 22 years. And that kicks off, um, it kicked off last Friday, the, July 17th. And then it's gonna run through, is it the 8th of August? Yes. Now, are you encouraging people? Because one of the things that's so fun about this, this um, the 5K is people dressed up as superheroes or capes and all kinds of fun stuff. Are you encouraging people to do that again? We are definitely encouraging folks to have fun with this event since they, they can pick any course that they want. They can uh, run or walk through the park, their, their neighborhood. Uh, and uh, if they do it in a superhero costume or, or any other costume, that would be a really wonderful way to kind of liven it up and uh, really show support for our organization. Uh, we actually have uh, special prize categories for uh, those who, um, have the best costume. Okay, like you have before. So you're encouraging people to take photos, posting them on social media. Do they send, can they send them to you or how do they get them to you? Uh, they can email them to me. Uh, okay. And then what we'll do is upload them to our Facebook page okay. and the photos that get the most votes uh, win the best costume uh, prize. And registration um, is, is still open. Is it, Can you just, can you register honestly through the, through April or I'm sorry, April, August 8th? Yes, registration is ongoing okay. uh, really until August 5th, but um, if uh, people get their, their sure. in by, by August 8th, that, that's totally fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's talk a little bit more. Um, where, let's first, where can people sign up? Tell us that again. People can visit our website, casaomaha.org slash superhero run. Uh, and the link to the actual registration site is provided on that page. Okay. Well, we've got like a minute, minute and a half more. Let's just talk a little bit. I mean, we're going through some very challenging times with COVID-19. Um, how can people, how can people help? How can people give back to your organization at this time? I think the number one way to give back to our organization and the community at large is by considering becoming an advocate, becoming a court-appointed special advocate. Uh, children really need the consistent presence of caring adults in our community, especially during these times. Uh, and so our training uh, to prepare people to become CASA volunteers is still ongoing. We do that all virtually during this time. Right. Uh, and there are still children within our community who yeah. could really use the, the support of caring individuals. Absolutely. And I know your website has a lot of information about that. And again, the upcoming um, virtual, want, virtual, virtual, why can't I say that word? Virtual <laughs> walk, um, run. And do they have to do a 5K or can they do a, does it matter? 
No, so we have different categories. We've okay. got a, a 5K uh, run, a 5K walk, 1K walk, uh, and then there is a 1K fun run for children. Okay, all right. Well, I'm excited and I think happy that, again, that you're not canceling this event, but you're making it virtual. And I love the 22 days celebrating 22 years of, of CASA um, and your organization and everything it does for the community. So um, Alexander, thank you so much for joining me today. And like we said before we, we started the recording is, we're both gonna be out there um, doing our thing and I'm gonna dress up. I will be sending you a photo. <laughs> That's great. Okay. All right. Thanks again. And we'll, we'll, we'll see you see you on the trails. All right. Thank okay. you. Andy. All right. You're welcome. Bye.